there are seven different types of wick which we normally use for uh, puja and uh, different occasion or a festival where we put diyas, different lamps in front of God or uh, to lighten up the house. So these are uh, different type of wicks which we have created. Uh, you can see there are seven different types. One, one which is, which is normal, normal wick, a bati in Hindi and vat in Marathi. This is a normal wick which we normally put into an iron oil lamp. Normally for the oil lamps we, we use this uh, wick. Then there is, a, uh, there is a, a wick which is called as fulwar in, in Marathi and in Hindi we call it as fulbati which is normally used with a key and not oil, specifically used lighten up the Ghidiya the third one which is uh, which is created out of cotton uh, it's a thread thread uh, wick it's a thread bati so uh, definitely I'm going to show you how uh, normally um, all this wick creation happen so the fourth one is Kakad Arti Bati which normally we use for Kakad Arti or any uh, any arti or any puja in which uh, you need uh, that 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 uh, lamp should go for a longer time for, for that we normally use this one this this wick is um, in advance we have to put it into a key and then lighten up the key now the last uh, last but not the least the, there are sixteen different uh, normal wicks Together uh, will be offered or lighted up Diyas in front of Mahalakshmi uh, during this uh, Gauri Ganesha for three days. So the 16th part, 16th week will be used. So these are nothing but a cotton um, created with. And the last one is this Diya Diya week. It's, it's a, uh, it is uh, specifically used when when there is a marriage in Maharashtra family so normally that time uh, at the age of uh, at the age of uh, bride we will uh, do a counting of that thread and we will create a bati out of it uh, so these are different wicks which we normally use to lighten up the thread so we will uh, we will learn how to create this full work and here we go so first take a cotton spread it across nicely a small cotton piece spread it across and just pull out some cotton and put it across on the same cotton again so create a fold of all the cottons Here we are creating a fold and then fold one side of the cotton tightly and just squeeze it and roll it. So slowly slowly it will turn it to the turn it to the a normal side. See just now he has used something something some some rangoli powder or uh, something you have to use to make your hands dry and now pull out the uh, little cotton from the down and put it across on the same thread which you have tightened up above it just like a knot you are creating up on the upside and putting across the cotton again so it will it will be a stronger and it will stand strongly inside the ghidia you see how nicely it has to get rolled remove the cotton from the base and put it across on the same thread it is easy and now 
this is last time we are putting the cotton now he will create a base see how nicely you have to hold the base push it in the outside you have to just pull the pull the cotton little outside so that it will stand nicely so here we go so this is what the uh, full work so this is second wick which we are going to create now for you this uh, we normally use for all kakad artis or malakshmi pujan or any long artis where we use uh, this type of wick so here we go again you have to take a cotton in your hand spread it across nicely take one toothpick or uh, a match match stick or anything which is which is little harder and just if you can see that now he is going to put it on the cotton see how nice he has put and he is holding that that stick together along with the cotton so cotton is not moving but the thre the, the stick which we have used the mat stick is is moving nicely along with the cotton so slowly slowly it is getting rolled on the stick slowly you have to just roll it till the so that it will get created you can use a thread and uh, how to create a wig out of thread now we will see you will get this thread ball in, in any of the puja shops now see how long he has taken and do the the, uh, the triangle if you can see just do a triangle just three fingers three fingers roll it again use it again roll it again use first finger second third and just keep on rolling on this triangle and then cut the thread that's it now after cutting the thread see how you have to roll that thread to use as a wig from both the sides you have to turn the thread in opposite direction so that it will have that it will have that squirrel to it see from both the sides just hold it and turn it in opposite direction that's it that's the easiest wick creation you can see so now we will learn how to lighten up the diya with the wick a normal oil wick so here we have put that normal wick into the diya we have to put the oil so this diya will stay for almost say 4 3 to 4 hours so this is the first one i light up the diya at the last to show you all other Now we will see how to lighten up the ghee, uh, ghee fullwat diya. Uh, see the fullwat which we have learned earlier. Uh, that we have to just spread it on the, uh, the diya. This diya doesn't have any any uh, screw to get it attached. This is just a normal fullwat. So you have to just add up the ghee on it. nicely spreading across the diya put it 
click on it and this dia will also remain for 2 2 hours minimum and third one i'll show you uh, the mahalakshmi wick and the kakadarti wick how to lighten up i have put some ghee on it so that it will light up when i need the puja time togetherly we are going to spread across the light across the like to create different wigs at their home so they prefer to use the homemade wigs and here we are going to light up the first oil oil one the ghee one Granny always says, "Do not put the oil wick and uh, ghee wick together on the same light. We use the different light stick. Now we are going to spread across the third one. Light up the third Mahalakshmi wick. This is uh, this is a group of sixteen wick together, and we have put a ghee on it. Now we are going to light up the." Sixteen Mahalakshmi wick. This is the biggest. And this is the Kakadarti one, which has got already got a stick. We have put a lot of ghee on it so that it will stay remain for the longer time. And it will take a long time to get light enough because it has got a cotton extra ghee and holding. Yeah. So one, two, three, and four. Thank you, Manoj. Thank you, Manoj, for all this.